Now, Jimmy, you're holding there the microphone component of the Sennheiser s Vera system. Mm -hmm. Now, what this purports to do is take an ordinary XY uh, pair, which is contained within this blimp, um, put it into the magic box here, the uh, SPB8000, and convert it into 5.1. Now, can you tell us what's going on here? No. <laughs> but I can tell you it works. It really does. Now, I was skeptical as well. I mean, it's just an, it's just an XY coincident pair. It's feeding in here, but you can actually watch the monitoring. You can actually walk around this thing and try and bamboozle it, and it is outputting a coherent and, and you know, sensible 5.1 mix of what's actually happening. Mm. Look, I think at the end of the day, what will be going on is some kind of clever al algorithm involving summing and phase cancellation and mm. some other things. Uh, probably a low pass filter at some point. Mm. Um, the head end of this, basically the SPB8000, we've got two inputs and we can run them either with or without phantom power and we've got I think around about 60 dB of gain on the front panel. Uh, there is only one gain knob, so whatever mm. gain you apply to one channel is exactly the same as what's applied to the other channel. Mm -hmm. And I think in a system like this where you are relying on identical yeah. left and right mics, you know, for instance, we've got you know, identical capsules in this bubble. Mm. Uh, it's important for the system to work properly mm. that your gain should be equal across mm. each of those. So they've done that exactly right. Uh, you can also go in, you can dial that way down and go in at line level, which means that you can plug this into, if you don't want to carry this and mm. a recorder, you can carry something like this around, record this signal into this, then play it back from one of these at line level or even via AES3 input mm -hmm. into this and it will then do all the conversion and it gives you your 5.1 surround sound out. So you mm. get obviously left, center, right, LFE, left surround and right surround. Mm -hmm. And you get that on three AES3 pairs out the back. Yep, yep. So this is back in the studio in that uh, circumstance. Uh, yep. You've got word clock uh, inputs I can sync externally and actually loop that through. Plus you've got an Ethernet port on the back. So there's some software you can install. Gives you more access to more of the features in the box. Indeed. Yeah. There is actually there's a compressor as well. And, mm. and the software lets you change things like positioning. Mm. Uh, and you can store up to four presets, which means you can just use these buttons on the front mm. to quickly recall a specific configuration. Mm. Uh, other things worth noting is it does sample rates from 44.1 through to 96 kilohertz, mm -hmm. which is nice. What do you think? Well, it's an elegant solution to a complex problem. Yeah. Trying to capture 5.1 out in the field is difficult. There's some very specialized yeah. and expensive yeah. You equipment. know what, like in, in as an aside, even trying to monitor 5.1 properly Yeah, is actually difficult. that's a very good point. Yeah. Uh, surround is, is something that is very nice for people who go to the local hi-fi shop and mm. buy a surround sound package or whatever and put it in. Mm. But they don't think about the people who have to actually make <laughs> the content. It's very difficult. It is, it is. And I think for me, something like this makes that process <clears throat> more accessible and more easy to understand. Yeah. And it fits in with our existing gear. I mean, like, yeah, you know, exactly. two channel recorders, we've all got them. You know, we're all yeah. using all that stuff already. Yeah, you know, and it doesn't matter if it's this or a computer or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I think this is a brilliant piece of technology and I think they've built it very nicely indeed. Yeah.